team coverage tonight of the Middleton shooting. And we start with Keely Arthur, who is live from outside Anthony Tong's home on Madison's far west side. Keely? We are learning more about Middleton shooter Anthony Tong tonight, including what was inside his home here. Also, details of his past, some of it here very disturbing in these court documents. The autopsy indicated that Tong died from firearm-related trauma. 48 hours after being taken down by police, we are learning more about Anthony Tong, the Madison man who opened fire on his WTS Paradigm co-workers Wednesday. As of now, a motive has not been determined. A search warrant obtained today by News 3 shows police confiscated hundreds of rounds of ammunition, computers, several gun parts, and a gun building kit inside Tong's Madison home. Many wondering now where he got it all from and how without a gun license, Tong got his hands on the weapon he used Wednesday. Tong had his concealed carry permit revoked. A judge deemed Tong mentally unfit to carry a gun in 2004, following a welfare check at Tong's then home in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. According to court documents, when officers arrived at the apartment, Tong is described as acting, quote, very odd. Police then discovered more than 1,000 rounds of ammunition, along with an AR-15 rifle. And in one of the most chilling details, police say they asked Tong if he wanted to hurt himself. He refused to answer that and then said, quote, there were people talking bad about me at work. A statement made more than 14 years prior. But it absolutely seems as though some, with some loophole, he was able to get in contact and get uh, possession of that firearm, and he should not have been able to do that. A motive tonight still unclear. The FBI has interviewed Tong's family. Investigators also working to interview all those WTS Paradigm co-workers trying to figure out why he would do something like this. Back to you.